All right, man, it's nasty outside. It is raining, it's disgusting. I got this in a few days ago and I wanted to unbox it with you guys. Together, this is the Ford Racing Control Pack for the 2.3 liter EcoBoost. And in case you didn't know, Ford makes these control packs for all their crate engines, essentially. Um, their EFI crate engines. I got one for the Godzilla coming out soon, I believe. It's been delayed. They've got one for, of course, the EcoBoost engine and the Coyote, as well as others. So it's a pretty penny, it's not cheap but it's everything you need to run one of their crate motors, or in my case, the EcoBoost motor I pulled out of a 2015 Mustang that's going to our 79 Fox Body Coupe. Um, and it's everything you need to get the car running. So without further ado, let's just unbox it and take a look at what's inside. The good thing about this whole package is you get everything you need. The bad thing about this whole package is you get everything you need. And for a lot of people, that's too much. Like this comes with an intercooler, all the intake piping, and also all the uh, air box filter stuff, which, you know, depending on what you're putting in, may or may not work, so you can't really, it's too bad you just can't, you know, go out and pick and choose what parts of the control pack, because it would save a ton of money. So this, I was able to find the absolute cheapest on CJ Pony parts for, I believe, $1,600. So it's not cheap. But everywhere else I was looking at was closer to 1800 to 2000. All right, Connor, you want to check this out, dude? Man, this is just a whole box full of stuff, dude. There you go. Well, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's a part here. Yeah, <laughs> it's just a box full of other boxes and loosely fitted pieces. So this is what I mean. Like, I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna have to use this or if I'm gonna use this at all, but you know, it's got the uh, air intake temp installed and ready to go. And uh, the air box, it's kind of nice that it's a factory looking piece. So if we can integrate this into the Fox body, that'd be cool. At least that's the plan. Give it a factory look here. And we got some tubing down here. God, a lot of this stuff's just, uh... all right, I'm just gonna slide it in the office sort of here, like this, and then, if you can, Connor, just lay these out, you know, all nice and neat like. So kind of put that on the floor over there, make room right here. Uh, we got this hose, another charge pipe. Casually, just laying in the bottom here is our pedal. All right, be careful with that, that's right. Nice, nice and easy. Oh, what is in this box here? This is a CM12A650, yeah. So I'm probably i'm willing to bet this is the ecu okay boom this is a large chunk of the the cost right here in fact let's leave this in the box connor i'll just sit it right here okay fomo co fomo co and this long box here i'm willing to bet is the intercooler what do you bet with some bell clock that kids can't pop which is not funny that is what it is what is that connor <laughs> Our A coolant hose. Careful with that. That's the intercooler. That is the intercooler. Oh yeah, look at this. Here is the man. This is the harness. This is awesome. You know why this is awesome? It's everything. Everything, including the mega fuse for your main main power wire and also the fuse block just like you would have so this will be mounted in the engine bay as well so this up here nice and easy like and then there's a cable what's this cable go to i don't know I don't know yet that's a switch i don't know what that switch is for it's your o2 sensor so it includes the o2 sensor which is obviously needed oh that is probably the clutch neutral safety switch which is need to get the engine started. But you might that's what that is. All kinds of stuff, come on, man. Another box in here. Let's see what's in this. Oh, it's part of the intake tube. So what this is, looks like, looks like it's the cold air intake, which it is. It's the part that goes right here into your front fender. So that's what that is, cold air. It's got the, uh, yeah, the baffle. It's more plastics that I don't need, I can't use. Oh, yes, this is what we need, charge pipe. Blow off valve. Yeah, so that's important. At least this piece is here. 
unless we go after market, which we may do. So again, this all has to fit within the Fox body and it's not built to go straight to a Fox body. So, so you get an instruction sheet. So you can print this off, download, or you could download it and print it off and home. But anyways, it's got all the instructions and it literally is a step-by-step -step of what every single piece is, how to install it, where everything goes, um, and then the run sequence, where you start, where you plug it into the engine itself. See? pretty cool and then it goes all the way into the first fire up there's your uh, setup for your fuel pump and battery relay setup so there it is man that's everything we need right there all right man you gotta admit that's pretty awesome that Ford sells this and I know you guys have seen this probably before if you're doing this swap it's nothing new but it's pretty impressive if you haven't seen it this is everything that it comes with is kind of a close-up view of what you get so you get your intercooler you get your um, your air bark your air box and then that is the piping that goes to the air box to the outlet of the intercooler here and then you've got your blow off valve and or yeah blow off valve there which is cool that it came with that so that's good that goes on the other side of your charging pipes and you got some heater hoses here or your coolant hoses excuse me you see them your wiring harness with fuse block your main fuses um, that's of course the most essential piece right there to get everything running and um yeah and of course your pedal so there you go your drop by wire pedal now they do make an adapter that fits this into a fox body for the coyotes and it's the same pedal from my understanding so this ought to work with that adapter you could fab something yourself but i'm going to get the billet adapter that just bolts it straight to the fox body floor make it easier for me so there is that and like i said Print out the instructions. I'm really surprised it didn't come with an instruction book unless it's just in maybe somewhere else that I didn't notice. But yeah, so everything you need to get this thing wired up. So that is why it is essential that we get that firewall and everything in the engine bay cleaned up looking brand new before any of this comes in. We'll be getting the AJEK member in hopefully soon and that'll allow me to start bolting up uh, suspension, front brakes, and um, motor mock-up. We'll get the motor put in as well. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so that's it, guys. I'm going to end this video. Just thought you guys may want to see you know, what uh, what was inside one of these control back boxes. Nothing huge, nothing special, but that's it. I'm going to find some room to put all this stuff, because right now my office is starting to fill up with car parts. I've got my uh, we got the Cadillac brakes over here. Um... And now this box in here, and my garage is absolutely getting full, full of parts. So, yeah, I need to find some more room. We need to have like a spare bedroom or something to put all these parts in. So, hi, right, quick shout out to Dondo84 SVO YouTuber here. He is actually doing Eagle Boost Swap on his 84 SVO. Go figure, right? Hence the name. So, listen, if you're interested in the stuff that I'm doing here on the 79 and the Eagle Boost Swap at Fox Bodies, he's doing it right now. He's already halfway. He's already way ahead of, of, of me, so it's great to be able to go out there and watch someone else do it in detail steps so they can learn from their mistakes before I do it on my channel and show all the mistakes with you guys. So this stuff is, is absolutely essential and it makes everyone learn in the community and how to do this stuff. So it's awesome. Go check out his channel. I don't know how he's only got 27 subscribers. He's got awesome content because he's doing the EcoBoost swap in his 84 SVO. So he's in the middle of it. He's got good detailed content and definitely take a second to go check out his channel as well. I stumbled upon it and just wanted to share it out with you guys. All right, so that'll do it for this video. Hey, follow me on Instagram. And in case you haven't been watching Instagram or my last video where we pulled the motor out of the 79 coupe, we have a name for the project. Remember how I said it needed a name? Some way to differentiate it from the blue turbo car. So I've chosen with project Ego Bruce because I hope that one day it'll be bruising some egos and that is the point of this build, um, along with keeping a nice stock driver. That really is so. Hey, anyways, Project Eagle Brews, there it is. So hey guys, follow me on Instagram and um, look for hashtag Project Eagle Brews on Instagram for any updates specific to this Coupe's build with the uh, 2.3 liter EcoBoost motor. So that's it. We'll see y'all next time. Take care.